Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the plans for 2023. First thing we gotta talk about is the workspace, which it's actually the garage that I'm sitting in right now. I can't really do a lot of the things that I want because well, first of all, the space, I just don't have the actual like physical room. And then secondly, it's a rental, which it really limits what I'm able to do here. All that means is that things like 2GR swapping the white MR2 or pulling out the RB out of the skyline just to freshen it up is definitely gonna have to wait. I am actively looking for a house right now. So if that ends up coming through, it would be really nice because I'd have my own space but the other side of that is a lot of the homes i'm looking for or looking at are actually like project houses that need some work if i find a house there's a good chance i'm gonna have to put some money into it just to kind of make it decent and livable i would prefer to buy something that's moving ready but unfortunately the market's still pretty hot where i'm at and uh, i gotta work with the finances i have even though i can't do any of the big projects i wanted to i can still do some little things for the v6 mr2 right behind me i'll be getting the axles i know i've mentioned that before i don't actually have an eta on those still the company that i talked to who's gonna make them. I was honest with them. I'm like, look, I'm not gonna do anything with this car until like March, April, so there's no rush. Aside from the axles, I'm not really gonna do much with this car besides, well, drive it. I've done so much work to it. I really wanna focus on seat time. I mean, these last few years with the car, I haven't really gotten the results that I wanted to. It's obviously been a huge learning curve for me, but in addition to that, the car's just been so freaking hard to drive. I'm really hoping that the adjustments I made during this off season will make that performance easier to access. This car's only going to see short sprint style events, so like autocrosses, time attack, etc. I want to do a hill climb with it, but because of like how highly modified it is, I actually think it needs a roll cage. So I need to double check the rule book and uh, go from there. Now on to the white MR2. That car has actually been really good and reliable. There are two things I plan on doing to it. Number one is actually I got top hats for the car. I'll make a video when I install those. I only got them because they were on sale. Uh, it's something that I was going to do before, but I just never got around to it. Then when I saw they were 50 bucks off, I was like, why not? The second thing I have to do to the car is actually repair the tap. Um, I meant to do that this winter, but I just never got around to it. It hasn't really been a priority for me. After getting those two things knocked out in the car, uh, my plan is to actually try to do some track days with the car again. Since that last track day, I did like literally a year and a half ago in the car, which didn't end the best because the car overheated. I've gone through everything and it's it's been fantastic. You know, upgraded the radiator, all that good stuff. I am still a little bit nervous, but I figured with all the driving it's done, it really hasn't had any issues. And on top of that, I mean, I took the car on a thousand mile road trip and it was totally fine. Now onto the skyline. The plan is just to clean up a lot of the small mechanical things we do want to pull the engine out but considering like the workspace situation we're really not in a place to do that parts are still coming for that car as recently as a couple days ago uh, some new things came in like filters we're going to get some brackets and so we're just acquiring parts for that until we're in a better position to actually have the space so we can uh, do the type of work we want lastly on to the na miata this car literally needs nothing it just works to sum up my plans for 2023 it's really keep the project simple and focus on seat time and with that we don't got much else for this video stick around because in the next ones, I'll probably be working on the MR2. Um, not this MR2. This one's, again, it's pretty much done with the exception of the axles and alignment. And I don't think I'll be getting those by the end of this month. Instead, I'll be working on the white MR2. First thing is getting these uh, top hats installed. And then the second thing will be fixing that tack. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you guys in the next video.